Hi, I'm Kenzie. Welcome back to my podcast. If you are just joining, welcome. Today we will be talking about my 20th Little Bear VHS, Showtime. This VHS includes the greatest show in the world, The Blueberry Picnic, Sleepover, and Mitzi's Little Monster. First, let's talk about the greatest show in the world. This episode starts out with Little Bear introducing himself and for everyone to step right up and see the greatest show in the world. So his audience came. For his first trick, he made water come out of his hat. Then he noticed that Duck was not in the audience. He made her appear. Everyone applauded and Duck took her seat. Then Nofi wanted to be in the show. He was going to do tongue twisters. He did Peter Piper. Everyone applauded. Then he said a lot of S words. Little Bear untied him. Little Bear applaud. Everyone applauded again. Then Cat was the next volunteer. Little Bear wanted Cat to lie down like he was taking a nap. He was quite comfortable. Then Little Bear needed total silence. He used his cape to cover up Cat, said the magic word abracadabra. Cat was going up, Little Bear uncovered him, and Cat was floating. Everyone applauded. Duck wondered how Little Bear did that. Cat woke up and landed on his feet. Everyone cheered and applauded as Cat took a bow. Then Mother Bear called the Little Bear. Little Bear had one last act, though. He would make himself disappear. So Cat did a drum roll, and Little Bear disappeared. Everyone was shocked. It really was the greatest show in the world. The scene transitions to Little Bear's bedroom. Mother Bear asked if the show was over. Little Bear said yes. Then Mother Bear said that dinner was ready. Little Bear took a bow and said, thank you. Then he left his room for dinner. And that's how the episode ends. Now let's talk about the episode as a whole. I feel like this episode made me believe in magic. Magic sure is beautiful. The only thing that confuses me if this was all a dream or not. I mean, Little Bear's magic cape and hat were in his room at the end. What do you think? Let me know if you want. All in all, it's still a good episode. Now let's talk about the blueberry picnic. This episode starts out with Owl and Nofi talking about going to the blueberry picnic. Owl wouldn't miss it, but first there's the play. The blueberry play tells a story about the troll who lived under the bridge. First, they had to choose who was going to play the troll. This year, it was going to be Little Bear. Everyone cheered. So Little Bear followed Father Bear to get his troll mask on. Little Bear practiced being a mean, wicked troll. Then everyone was ready. The other players would be Hen, Duck, Cat, and Emily. So Hen was about to go over the bridge first. All of a sudden, the troll came out. Hen was on her way to pick blueberries, but the troll had his own plan. Hen was going to be his dinner. She begged to be let go. Then she explained that someone else was coming that the troll would like much more. The troll wondered why he can't eat Hen and that's someone else too. Hen explained that if the troll eats her, then he might be too full for the next person and they might taste better. Hen had a good point, so the troll let her go. Then it was Duck's turn. At first, she accidentally said Little Bear's name without realizing he was a troll. The troll thought he would like roast duck with stuffing for dinner. Duck didn't like the sound of that. She escaped by flying away from the troll and made it to the other side. Then it was Cat's turn. The troll was thinking about having roast cat for dinner. Cat was thinking about scratched troll. He hissed at him and walked to the other side. The troll wasn't going to give up, though. He would find something sweeter to eat. Then he would really jump on them and eat them in two bites. Everyone booed. Then Tutu and Emily entered the scene. The troll scared them. Emily told him it was not very nice to scare people and that she and Tutu don't taste very good. But the troll was hungry. Emily promised him she would give him something sweet and delicious. If he didn't like it, then he could eat her and Tutu. She gave him a blueberry pie. The troll tried it and thought it was good. He then promised he would never eat another hen or duck or cat or little dog or anyone ever again. Only blueberry pies. Everyone cheered. Little Bear did a great job being the troll. All of a sudden, the troll came to life. It turned out it was just Tutu. And that's how the episode ends. Now let's talk about the episode as a whole. I feel like this episode was a good one. I remember watching this episode when I was younger. The troll who lived under the bridge is a great story. It kind of reminds me of the three Billy Goats gruff. Also, seeing Owl and Nofi talk about and react to the play makes me feel like they are a part of the audience, which is interesting. All in all, it's a good episode. Now let's talk about Sleepover. This episode starts out with Little Bear talking to Father Bear about what he was going to do at his first sleepover. He and his friends would have fun playing games, telling scary stories, and staying up all night long. Well, not the third thing, actually. Little Bear was still young. Anyway, a knock on the door was heard. His friends were here. Duck and Owl were at the door. 
Doc walked inside to Little Bear's room and was in bed. Little Bear told her they were not going to sleep yet. First, they had to play games and tell scary stories. The scene transitions to Little Bear putting a blindfold on Doc. The game was they had to stick the mustache on Father Bear without peeking. Little Bear and Owl helped Duck with the directions. She didn't put the mustache on the right spot, though. Then it was Owl's turn. At first, he put the mustache on Mother Bear. He tried again and put it in the right spot on Father Bear. Owl won! Then Little Bear and his friends yawned. They weren't ready for bed just yet. They still had to tell scary stories. Father Bear made a deal. One scary story and then everyone goes to bed. Little Bear, Duck, and Owl agreed to the deal. The scene then transitions to Little Bear, Duck, and Owl in bed. As Father Bear was about to tell him the scary story, Duck told him to not make it too scary. Owl told him it had to be scary enough. Little Bear told him it should be funny. Father Bear told the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. He said that Goldilocks was lost in the forest. She was scared, but not too scared. Suddenly, she saw a house in the distance, which was just scary enough. She decided to go into the house and see if someone could help her find her way home. Little Bear asked if this was the funny part. Father Bear sighed. He didn't want any further interruptions. Then he exited the bedroom. Little Bear, Duck, and Owl wondered where he was going. Then he appeared with a wig on. It turned out he was pretending to be Goldilocks. He asked if anyone was home. Little Bear said no one was there. So Father Bear sat in the chair and waited for someone to come home. But the chair was too hard. He got, he got up and sat in the same chair and pretended it was too soft. He got up again and sat in the same chair and pretended it was just right. Suddenly, he pretended to break the chair by falling out of it. Then Mother Bear gave him a bowl and he pretended there was porridge in it. He tasted it and pretended the porridge was too hot. He tasted it again and pretended the porridge was too cold. He tasted it one more time and pretended the porridge was just right. Then Goldilocks decided she needed to take a nap. So Father Bear lied on the floor to pretend to try out the first bed, but it was too hard. As he put the chair back to where it was, he told them she tried the second bed, but it was too soft. Then he got in Little Bear's bed and lied in it to pretend that she tried out the third bed. Little Bear added it w was just right. Then Mother Bear entered the scene to check on Little Bear, Father Bear, Duck, and Owl. They were sound asleep. Mother Bear blew out the candle and closed the door. And that's how the episode ends. Now let's talk about the episode as a whole. I feel like this episode didn't have much of a story. It just showed Little Bear and his friends having fun at a sleepover, which is pretty cool. Sometimes stories that don't feel like stories are the best ones because they teach us to have fun in our lives. All in all, it's a good episode. Now let's talk about Mitzi's little monster. This episode starts out with Emily peeking from the curtains and seeing Duck and Hen taking their seats for the show. Emily was getting everything ready for the show. Then Cat and Owl came. Little Bear was also seen getting everything ready. They were going to use Lucy and Fisherman Bear as the cast. Hen asked if the show was about to begin. Little Bear told the audience he and Emily were waiting for Mitzi, who was bringing her doll. Then Mitzi arrived. She was just in time. Then the curtains opened. The show has begun. It was called Lucy's Tea Party. The show starts out with Fisherman Bear being so very hungry. Lucy told him that they had to wait for their guest. Then Emily told Mitzi to get her doll ready. Little Bear pretended that a knock was heard. All of a sudden, a monster appeared. Well, actually, it was just a monster puppet. Mitzi Mitzi's monster puppet, to be exact. Anyway, even though Mitzi didn't have a doll with her, the show continued. Fisherman Bear was interested in having a monster be at the tea party, but Lucy was not. She didn't remember inviting a monster to her tea party. Then Fisherman Bear asked if the monster would like one lump of sugar in his tea or two. The monster wanted 11 lumps of sugar. Lucy thought it was too much sugar, and the monster would get a toothache. The monster was not sweet enough, though. Fisherman Bear told Lucy it was just pretend sugar, so the monster could have as much as he wants. But Lucy thought it was rude to take so much sugar. To stop the arguing, Fisherman Bear sang a little ditty about catching a fish for his friend Lucy. Lucy thought it was very thoughtful, and they could have the fish for their supper. Then the monster had his own ditty, and was going to eat Fisherman Bear. Lucy told him to stop because it was rude to eat people at a tea party. All of a sudden, the show was interrupted when Emily grabbed a hold of the monster's arm, accidentally yanked it, and the monster went flying to the tree. That wasn't supposed to happen. So Cat went up to the tree to retrieve it. The monster, Owl, Duck, and Hen applauded. Cat took a bow, and the show continued. The monster had a boo-boo and needed a kiss to feel better. Lucy didn't want to kiss him. Fisherman Bear told her he doesn't bite. Well, only when the monster is hungry. So the monster dove toward Lucy and was about to bite her. 
Fisherman Bear tried to stop the madness, but the monster wanted just one little boo-boo kiss. Everyone was laughing. They liked the show. So the madness continued. All of a sudden, Fisherman Bear fainted. The monster thought he was weak from not being fed tea and cake. So he fainted as well. Of course, he was just faking because he said that only a kiss will make him and Fisherman Bear feel better. So Lucy kissed Fisherman Bear and he came back to life. He felt much better. He thanked Lucy. Then it was the monster's turn to get kissed. It was good for him to be back. Lucy asked if they shall have some tea now. The monster said, yes, let's shall. And that's how the sto show ends. Everyone cheered as the curtain closed. Emily liked happy endings. So did Little Bear. So did Mitzi and her little monster. With that, the monster applauded. And that's how the episode ends. Now let's talk about the episode as a whole. I feel like this episode was a fun one. I mean, there was a puppet show, and I love puppets so much. It's also an interesting introduction to Mitzi's little monster. All in all, it's a fun episode. So yeah, that's showtime. If you would like to play again, just go back to the beginning of this episode. See you next time. Bye!